If you're of a certain age, Blink-182 taught you a couple of key things in life. How low you can wear your dickies shorts, how to curse, and most importantly, how to play guitar. I'm Jordan at the Music Zoo, and today I'm really excited to present the brand new Fender Tom DeLonge Starcaster. Comes in a bunch of really cool colors. Let's check this thing out. So how did we get from the original iconic Tom DeLonge Stratocaster to a Tom DeLonge Starcaster? I wasn't there. I don't know Tom, but I could only speculate my personal theory that semi hollow bodies come for us all. Obviously, people's tastes in guitars change, their tone preferences, their needs on stage change. So perhaps he saw a Starcaster, maybe he has a vintage one or two, and was like, let me apply my personal preferences from that original Stratocaster into a Starcaster. We saw a couple different variations pop up when Blink-182 started to play on stage. I remember seeing that first Coachella set and being like, holy smokes, what is that guitar covered in stickers? It was so cool. So I'm gonna guess that Tom's original Starcasters were custom shop pieces, and then down the line, they decided to make these production guitars, which are awesome. I think they're great, they're super affordable, and they have a really nice set of specs that I think sets them apart from a lot of other things available on the market. semi hollow body, you got a center block in there to keep feedback away. Layered maple for the body. The neck is a really interesting choice to me. It's a gloss urethane finish piece of roasted maple topped with a 22 fret rosewood board. I'd love to see that Tom DeLonge is using roasted maple on his guitars. I don't know where he encountered it. Obviously the music zoo has been loving roasted maple for years. For those of you that might not know what roasted maple is, it is a process literally of roasting maple in a kiln and you're heating the wood up, taking out a lot of excess moisture, leaving a little bit in, but not too much. The wood is incredibly sturdy. If you're going like Tom is probably from climate to climate, playing shows around the world, we should be so lucky. Um, your guitar is gonna be a lot more resilient. Your guitar tech is gonna love you. You're gonna love not having to take it to get set up as often as you might because that roasted maple is staying still that much more. For the electronics on the Starcaster, you have a single pickup. Obviously, what Tom DeLonge signature would be complete with a neck pickup. That would be heresy. It would be crazy. <laughs> so he went, instead of the original Seymour Duncan Invader, he went with a Seymour Duncan Custom pickup. I've used it in a couple of my personal guitars, too, because it's really nice, well-rounded, has a mid to high output, nothing too crazy like the original Invader. So if you want clarity, within your palm muting and lead playing. It's a great choice. Single control over here, master volume with a treble bleed. So when you're rolling your volume down, you're gonna retain a lot of high end without getting all muddy. I like that. I appreciate they included it. On the headstock, Fender locking tuners. Love it. Kind of got to have it. If you're playing shows, you want to keep things in tune, right? So Tom went with that spec. Let's talk about what the neck feels like really quick. Fender went with a slim C on this one. Paired with the 12-inch radius, which is pretty flat, it's pretty good for both lead and rhythm playing, I would say. There's not a lot of shoulder to it, so if you're playing power chords, which, let's be honest, you're probably going to play a lot of power chords on this guitar, it's quite comfortable. I dig it. All right, there we have it, the brand new Fender Tom DeLonge Starcaster. Who is this for? Obviously Blink fans, but I think even if you're a guitar player who plays post-hardcore, rock, alternative rock, anything where you want to just look cool on stage, with a one humbucker semi hollow body, this is the guitar for you. I think you can't go wrong, and for at this time, $11.99, I'm in. Grab it now at themusicazoo.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Play nice.